hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can install virtualbox on our mac os device and uh, the devices this is going to be for devices that are using the m1 or the m2 chip we'll begin by uh, searching for the virtualbox download and then we'll go ahead and download it so open a browser and search for virtualbox download and we'll go to the link that takes us to virtualbox.org so I'm gonna go with this first link right here once you get to this page you see there's a uh, downloads for different operating systems like Windows Mac OS uh, Linux now under Mac OS you see it says Intel host and it doesn't say anything about M1 or M2 chip so in order for us to get that version we need to scroll down a little so go ahead and scroll down and you're looking for something that says VirtualBox older builds this is where we this is what you need to click on so we'll click on this link now on this page we have uh, VirtualBox 7.0 that's uh, active maintenance that's got active maintenance we want to click on this one and on this page we'll need to scroll a little down keep scrolling until you get to VirtualBox 7.0.8 released April 18 2023 that's last year now if you look the third option says developer preview for Mac OS slash ARM64 and then M1 slash M2 hosts so this is what we want and so click on this link right here and the download should begin okay you might be asked to allow the download so I'm gonna allow it and right here you can see it's downloading and the download is finished so we got our DMG file here so I'll click on it so if you double click on it you should get this new window pop-up right here Oh, let me go ahead and minimize this right here okay and the first step says double click on this icon so this one is uh, virtualbox.pkg this is the box right here the box icon so we just double click on it okay and that opens up the installer window this is gonna guide us through the installation of virtualbox so I'll just click on continue here and then it says it gives you the size of space it's gonna take on your computer it looks like it's 189 MBs you can change the installation location or you can go with the defaults so I'll go with the defaults here I'll click on install at this point you'll need to put in your password to continue with the installation so go ahead and put in your password and then after that just click install software and the installation should begin and we got a message saying the installation was successful the software was installed now we can just click close to close close out this window and we get a pop-up asking if we want to send this file to to the trash and since we are no longer going to need the installer we are done with it we can just click on move to trash and that's gone the file is gone now in order for us to open VirtualBox and start using it, you'll need to go to the Launchpad, click on Open Your Launchpad, and then you can search for VirtualBox here. And there it is. So click it to open it. And here we are, we have uh, VirtualBox. So here we have Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager successfully installed. Again, VirtualBox is a uh, hypervisor it's a free tool that we can use to install operating systems like uh, windows uh, linux if you wanted to run those on your mac uh, device at the same time as you're running your mac you can install different operating systems here in future videos i'll show how to actually install virtual machines on uh, macbook so the once you have your the image files you can come here and click new and then you normally just go through the process of naming it 
selecting yeah, like here it says select the ISO image so you need to like download an ISO image come here select it select the type of uh, operating system is it Windows uh, Linux Solaris uh, Mac OS and other so again that's that was a quick video on how we can install VirtualBox on uh, Mac OS that's using M1 or M2 chip. I hope this has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.